Hey everybody, Dr. Nelson here. Uh, this is a video about standard form of polynomials. All right, so the first two pages uh, of your notes, you're gonna follow along with me, and then there'll be some problems for you to try on your own. And then at the end, you can see how you did. All right. So in, in order for a polynomial to be written in standard form, there's two main requirements that you have to follow. Okay, the first one is that the polynomial has to be simplified. All right. So let's write down the polynomial. must be simplified. All right, that's the first thing, all right? The second thing, once the polynomial is simplified, okay, then you list the terms in order from highest degree to lowest degree, all right? So I'm gonna write down highest degree to lowest degree. All right? So take a look on the right-hand side. So which polynomial is written in standard form, okay? Well, here we have 5x to the fifth plus 2x uh, cubed plus 4x, all right? Now, none of these terms we can combine, so it's simplified, okay? And notice the, the, the degrees are in order from highest to lowest, the 5, the 3, and then the, the 1, all right? Now, down here, we have 11x cubed plus 6x squared plus 2x to the fifth, okay? Now, this meets the first part's requirement, right? It's simplified. But notice, the degrees go three, two, and then five, all right? So, in order to write this in standard form, we have to put this 2x to the fifth in the front. So it'd be 2x to the fifth plus 11x to the third plus 6x squared. All right, turn the page. All right, so let's practice writing a couple more of these expressions in standard form, all right? So the first one here, 3x to the fourth plus 2x to the fifth plus 8x squared, um, we can simplify the expression, but I can rearrange the order. So I'm, I'm gonna write it first as 2x to the fifth plus 3x to the fourth and then plus 8x squared, all right? Notice the degrees go five, four, two, so they're gonna order from highest to lowest, and that's what we want, all right? The second one, we have x squared, y cubed, plus nine x to the sixth, plus four x. Now remember, the degree of this first one, we have to add it together, right? So two plus three gives you a five. So that means um, the nine x to the sixth, that's gonna be the first term. So nine x to the sixth, plus, now we add the x squared, y cubed, and then finally the, the 4x, and there it is. All right, so remember, there's two main requirements for standard form. One, the expression has to be simplified, and two, once the expression is simplified, you line up the terms in order by degree from highest to lowest. All right, so why don't you pause the video and try the your turn problems now, and then when you're done, hit play, and you can see how you did. All right, good luck. All right, welcome back. Let's say I do with these problems, okay? So the first expression, we have uh, four terms, right? And if you notice, the 5x to the sixth and the 2x to the sixth, those are like terms, right? So I can rewrite this as 7x to the sixth. And we also have 2x to the fourth and 3x to the fourth. Well, those are like terms. So we can add those together and get 5x to the fourth. Okay, last but not least, we gotta make sure that the terms in order from highest degree to least degree, and we're going from six to four, so there it is. So that's the first answer. Now the second one, we have an expression with five terms, right? So let's first simplify it. So 12x to the ninth plus two x to the ninth, these will give us 14x to the ninth, and then we have 10x to the seventh, right? And then there's a one x to the seventh, so that'll give us 11 x to the seventh. And then we have one uh, four x to the twelfth over here. All right, so we simplified the expression. Now we gotta make sure they go in order from highest degree to lowest degree. All right, so we have a 12 over here, so it's gonna be four x to the twelfth plus 14 
x to the ninth, and then plus 11x to the seventh. And there's the expression written in standard form. All right, how'd you do?